Hello boys and girls, my name is Auntie Temi and you are welcome to our Winners Kids Online service today. How are you? And how's everyone at home? I know you're all doing great. Glory be to God. Amen. I am so excited to see you all connected to today's service. God bless you for that. Remember, before we begin our service, we must always start with prayers. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for bringing us here one more time. We ask that you help us listen carefully and to practice what we listen to. In Jesus' name, Amen. Today is our encounter with Destiny Service, which means that by the power in the Word of God and the prophetic declarations, God will reveal His vision for your life, for you to fulfill your purpose, your destiny, in Jesus' name. Amen. Also, you can tell your friends about Winner's Service. You can do that by referring them to Winner's Kids Online Service on YouTube channels so that they can learn the ways of the Lord and be blessed too. Now it's praise time. Are you ready to praise God? So come on and let's praise and worship God our Father.
Welcome back, boys and girls. I hope you danced and gave God all the praise he deserved. I know you did. That was awesome. Well done. Now it's time to exchange our covenant greeting. I'll say, it is my year of breaking limits. You say, that is also my portion in Christ. Then, what eyes have not seen, nor years heard, shall be your experience throughout the year 2020. The same shall be your portion. Congratulations. Amen and amen. So children, I would like you to get your Bibles, your writing material, and get ready to recite the theme of the month and our memory verse. Most importantly, I'd like you to listen very carefully and make sure you copy all your writing notes as we go and start today's service. Right, first, the theme of the month of August 2020. I know you know that by now, but I could tell you again. It says, I am a child of destiny. Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 9 to 14 tells us that. Can we take that together? I am a child of destiny. Well done, children. Now, our memory verse. Our memory verse is taken from the book of Proverbs chapter 29, verse 18. And it says, Where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. Should we try that one more time? Proverbs chapter 29, verse 18. Where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. Well done, children. You're doing exceedingly well. Our topic for today is, how do we receive vision? Interesting. Now, our Bible text is taken from the book of Daniel chapter 7, verse 13 to 14, and Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 2. Our Bible character is Daniel. I'm sure most of you know who Daniel is, but let's explore this character a lot more. At the end of today's service, you will be able to know how to receive vision. So let's begin. Remember, last week, you were taught why you need vision. Some of the reasons given were, number one, vision will lead you to a pathway of honor and dignity. Number two, vision will help you to fulfill destiny. Number three, vision puts an end to all struggles in life. Number four, vision is the gateway to greatness. Did you remember that? If you don't, you can flip back on your notes from last week. Well done, children. So today, we are going to learn how to receive vision. So if I may ask, how do we receive vision? Let's find out. Before we do, I hope you've got your Bible, your pen, and your writing materials ready. Yes, you have. Well done. Now, in order to receive vision, we must follow these six important steps. Number one, you must be born again. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 14 explains this, and it says, The person without the Spirit does not accept the things that come from the Spirit of God, but considers them foolishness and cannot understand them because they are discerned only through the Spirit. So for you to receive vision, you must first 
gave your heart to God. However, you will be saying a prayer of salvation before the end of this service. That is for those who have not given their lives to Christ. Let's move on. Number two. We receive vision through the word of God, which is the Bible. Yes, that Bible right in front of you. That's where the vision is. According to Daniel chapter 9 verse 2, it says, In the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood from the scriptures, according to the word of the Lord, given to Jeremiah the prophet, that the desolation of Jerusalem would last 70 years. So now you can see from the scripture that Daniel understood the vision he received through the word of God. And you should do likewise. You should ask from the Lord, read and study the Bible. And I believe God will reveal to you the vision, his plan for your life in Jesus name. Amen. Now, the third point, through heavenly vision, God said in his word, according to the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 28, and afterwards, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams. Your young men will see vision. And you can also read more about this in Acts chapter 16, verse 8 to 10. Hope you're writing. I'm sure you are. Very good. Well done, boys and girls. Now, the fourth way of knowing how to receive vision is through identification of our unique gifts. That is, by knowing the divine gift God has given to you thereby helping you to fulfill your God-given vision in life. Just as in Genesis chapter 41 verse 15 to 16 says, God gave Joseph the gift of dream interpretation. And Proverbs chapter 18 verse 16 says, A gift opens the way and ushers the giver into the presence of the great. Gift could be also a passion. That is something that you have so much interest in doing. Number five, following the leading of the Holy Spirit and learning to be quiet. Just as the book of John chapter 16 verse 13 tells us, but when he, the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak of his own. He will speak only what he hears and he will tell you what is yet to come. And for you to hear the Holy Spirit, you must be quiet. Observe a quiet time daily. That is when you praise God, pray and study God's word and calm down in his presence so that you can hear God speak to you. Now, the final point, number six, on how we receive vision. We receive vision by worshiping God for inspiration. Just as in Psalms 100 verse two, worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. In addition to musical instruments, we can worship God with songs from our hearts. You can make up your own song. That's basically what that means. That's great beauty and magnificence when we worship God with one heart and one mind, just as we did during the praise time. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I hope you've written down those six points on how to receive vision. And I hope you understand them very well. Remember, you can always go back to your notes or watch the video again for better understanding. 
and for you not to forget. You're doing really well, boys and girls. Guess what? It's story time! Now, sit back, relax, and watch this video. It's about a story of how Daniel interpreted the king's dream. So watch and be blessed. Blessed be the name of God forever and ever, for wisdom and might are His. Chris, wake up! He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. He reveals deep and it? secret things. He knows what is in the darkness, They're and light praying? dwells with Him. I thank you and praise you, O God of my fathers. Take me to the king, and I will explain the meaning of his dream. Can you tell me my dream and what it means? Your Majesty, not even the smartest person in all the world can do what you are demanding. But there is a God in heaven who reveals secrets. And while you were sleeping, he showed you what will happen in the future. Your Majesty, what you saw standing in front of you was a huge and terrifying statue. This image, huge and dazzling, towered before you, fearful to behold. Its head was made of gold. Its chest and arms were silver. And from its waist down to its knees, it was bronze. From there to its ankles, it was iron. And its feet were a mixture of iron and clay. As you watched, a stone was cut from a mountain, but not by human hands. The stone struck the feet, completely shattering the iron and clay, and swept away like chaff before the wind until no trace remained. But the stone became a tremendous mountain that covered the entire earth. Was that really the dream? How would I know? And the meaning of the dream? Why does it fill me with dread? Because you, O oh King of Kings, you are that head of gold. After you, there will arise another kingdom, and then a third, and then a fourth, as strong as iron. During the time of those kings, the God who rules from heaven will set up an eternal kingdom that will never fall. He's told Nebuchadnezzar that his kingdom will fall. Now I know that your God is above all other gods and kings because he gave you the power to explain this mystery. I will make you chief of all my wise men and governor of the province of Babylon. The work will be better done, my king, if these good men govern beside me. It will be as you wish. Welcome 
Welcome back, children. Hope you all learned something from that Bible story. I sure did. Just as Daniel, God can show you things in dreams about his plan for your life. And I pray that you will walk in God's vision for your life. Amen. Praise the Lord, children. Guess what? It's time for our faith talk. Now, could you repeat after me? I have the mind of Christ and the Holy Spirit guides me concerning God's plan for my life. Should we take that one more time? I have the mind of Christ and the Holy Spirit guides me concerning God's plan for my life. Well done, boys and girls. You guys are doing excellently well. Well, guess what the next activity is? Oh, yes, you guessed right. It's our activity time. Remember, from the just concluded story you saw about King Nebuchadnezzar, you are now going to draw your own king and make it colorful. I hope you took part in the activity. Remember you can pause the video and do it again until you get it right. Well done boys and girls, you have done excellently well today. Also, don't forget to ask mommy and daddy to send a copy of your activities and your testimonies to birmingham.childrenchurch at winners-chapel.org.uk. Also remember to write your name, your age and your location for us to be able to identify you. Well done to you all. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm having so much fun right here. I hope you're doing the same. Right, boys and girls, we have now come to a very important 
part of today's online service. And that is the prayer of salvation we talked about earlier. Remember, our first point on how to receive vision is by being born again. Great, so we're going to pray for those who want to receive God into their lives so that they can have God's vision lead and direct them into a successful life. So let us pray. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Wash me with your precious blood. I know that you died for me. Forgive me of my sins and write my name in the book of life. Now I know that I am born again. So help me God. Amen. Congratulations to you. And if you said that prayer with me, it means you are now a child of God like me. Praise God. I'm so happy for that. Now, boys and girls, we have come to today's, we have come to the end of today's service. And I believe that you've learned something. I know I have. Good. Well done. And I'm so proud of you. I know you've been working so hard. Give yourself a pat on the back. You're not too big to do that. Come on. That's it. Well done. Now it's time to say our closing prayer. Join me. Father, we thank you for today. Thank you for teaching us how to receive vision. Help us, Lord, to practice this and to always listen carefully to the Holy Spirit's guidance. In Jesus' name, amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in God's house forever and ever. Amen. God bless you all and I'll see you again very soon. Have a great week. Well done. Bye.